हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल द कॉर्पोरेट दीदी एंड विशिंग यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी 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 न्यू ईयर आई होप यू ऑल गेट प्लेस दिस ईयर यू ऑल गेट योर ड्रीम जॉब योर ड्रीम पैकेज योर ड्रीम सिटी वॉट एवर यू आर ड्रीमिंग फॉर मे दिस ईयर यू विल गेट इट सो दीज आर द बेस्ट विशेज फ्रॉम माई साइड ऑन दिस न्यू ईयर एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव गॉट सम अपडेट्स as i have seen most of the students are asking for the updates regarding infosys essential upgrade um, written exam mail and everything so i have accumulated all the doubts that you guys were having and here in this video i will clear all the doubts that you are having regarding the infosys hiring process essential hiring process and everything as you all are having your exam of infosys on 4th of january so before that exam i am here to help you out regarding each and every doubts so without wasting further time we will see what and all doubts the students are facing and what are the solution and guys do watch this video till end because i have accumulated all the doubts one by one which will be helpful for you because these are the question which is repetitively asked by many of the students okay and we will get a complete clarity on the exam when its result will be declared what will be the cut off and when the next phase will in start okay so before we proceed ahead there is just one small request from my side to you guys do subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and also do like this video if you found it at least 1% helpful i have seen like there are thousands of viewers who are viewing my videos but my subscribers are just in you know around 4k okay so this is a huge and humble request to you all if you are watching do subscribe the channel so that you won't miss another update obviously if you are watching this video you won't subscribe you will miss the next update that i will give you okay so if you are a subscriber you will definitely get that update as well okay so let's proceed ahead let's see this is the question which is asked many a times is there any update around or directly coding question will be there so all these doubts i will be going to cover in this video so hey everyone welcome back to the channel and happy new year everything i have mentioned and let's see what all other doubts we have so yeah <clears throat> uh, there is one more question which is very popular among the student is there any possibility ma'am for the repeated question to get in uh this exam i will answer this as well now see the other questions that people have exam location and uh, sorry exam and location mails laptop requirements short listing process why result is delayed next phase when it will happen what's the interview updates what's the interview process so everything i will cover in this video let's see the very first thing infosys exam mail important clarification this is one of the most important thing that many of the students are wor uh, worrying about many candidates are worried because they have not received the location mail okay there are many students who haven't received the location mail so this is one of the very crucial question crucial doubt that students are asking or there is a second case they have received the survey mail but not the test details yet yes they have filled the form the form that they received in the mail but there is no test details uh, declared to uh, them yet so let me explain how it's working what's exactly happening okay if you have received the location survey mail what that it actually means let me clear you very clearly your profile is 101% shortlisted guys guys if you have received that location survey mail don't panic you are in a safe zone okay you are in a safe zone i am again repeating you already have played pubg right so that's what i am saying you are in a safe zone no red zone no bombarding will happen you are in a safe zone okay so infosys is checking your preferred location okay infosys is uh, checking your preferred location if you have chosen some uh, other kind of location they are having a look at uh, on it okay based on the location they are assigning the test dates for major of the candidates they have assigned 4th of january but again i am saying they are using uh, the slot method they are assigning the uh, test uh, test interview dates on slots 
so let's suppose if 20000 students are there so around 15000 have got 5000 are left why because they are assigning in slot okay you will get in slots okay so don't worry the exam are being conducted in phases just i said the exam is conducted in phases so not at uh, not all at once okay so you don't have to panic if you have received that mail now you are 101% shortlisted you will get your test exam detail but after some time just keep patience you have to wait because they are uh, giving the mail in batches moving further exam dates are phase wise yes just now i mentioned that point the exam dates are phase wise uh, the very first exam that is going to happen is on 4th january and also there are few candidates who got the date as 5th january as well for the persons who are having their uh, written exam on 4th, they have their interview on 5th. But for the 5th January students also, it is uh, declared. On the other hand, uh, some may ha have exam on 7th, 8th or 12th of January. Why I am saying this? Because just now I mentioned that point, they are assigning in the batches. So look, once they complete this uh, batch on 4th of January, the they will left with the very few students okay so at that time they are conducting other uh, on other days as well like on 7th 8th 11th and 12th so guys who haven't received the mail yet you have to wait and keep preparing the very first thing okay and you don't need to panic don't panic at all enforcers will share test details according to their internal timelines okay they also have their internal timelines so according to that only they will share you the mail for the written exam as well as for the interview exam so this is the very very first doubt that the students are having next doubt what if you haven't received any mail at all okay if you have applied for enforces but you haven't received the mail yet then what exactly is happening with your candidature? Let's see. If you have applied for Infosys, okay, but did not receive survey mail or any kind of exam mail, then what is your scope? Where you are lying? Then the only thing you can do is to wait because we don't have any clear idea on that, okay? Because Enforces follows a shortlisting process. They uh, proceed in a process. It's not like a random thing. They process in a. Uh, they do shortlisting in a process basically. They evaluate the eligibility criteria, resume, and internal criteria also are also there. Okay. <clears throat> and other point, as it is a mass hiring, not college specific hiring. So in mass hiring, it usually takes time because they have huge number of candidates huge number of candidature with them so guys you have to wait because it's a mass hiring again i am saying it will happen in batches and batches and batches so the only key thing that you can have is to just wait okay thousands of candidates have applied for this job role you are not alone thousands of applicants are there so if you haven't received the mail don't panic you will get again the same point i will say it is happening batch by batch okay so it's your luck whenever you will get okay let's see other question was also there about the laptop requirement uh to be honest i i don't know why people are so rude to me i i really don't have that idea but yes when i mentioned this thing in my last video as well some people in my comment section are saying didi if we don't have to bring our laptop why they have sent us that uh, document in which they are asking for the uh, laptop requirement? Guys, just calm down. What I am saying, why they have sent you that thing? Let me clear you very clearly. Because in the past years, it used to happen. You were supposed to give your exam in your home. Okay. At that time, that PDF was created. So that PDF was a generic PDF which is shared with you. If your laptop was required, they have clearly mentioned that in your uh, mail itself. Okay, like you have to carry your laptop. Infosys is not a small company, right? They can't do these kind of silly mistakes. Okay, so if it is required, then they have mentioned that thing. And another point I would like to say, obviously, you are engineers. You have given your JWE exam. In your JWE exam, you also got some centers, right? So whenever any exam is conducted in centers, 
they have their own PC, their own computer. Uh, many of you have given TCS and QT as well, right? You also know that we give, uh, visit the center there. The computers are already available and we just have to give the exam. Okay. So this is the thing. Don't fight with me on this silly thing. <clears throat> Next thing. No, you don't need to carry your laptop again and again. I'm saying if you want to carry, just carry with yourself. I don't have any issue. But this is the fact those who are, uh, you know, uh, want this answer. So they don't have to carry your laptop. Why? Because I just mentioned. OK. Uh, let's move further. Uh, document you must carry. Guys, just carry your document like government proof with your photo ID. Um, it can be your Aadhaar card, PAN card, passport or even voter ID. So carry the document, uh, government ID proof, which have your photo at least. OK, and uh, it should be original, not a photocopied one. Then. Aadhaar is usually accepted. Yeah, many of you have Aadhaar. So I just mentioned that point. Uh, enforces result upgrade delay. Why is it taking time? So let me clear you very uh, first thing. Many candidates are worried because they haven't received their uh, upgrade results yet. Why they are worried? Because uh, they have given uh, their written exam. I know it happened on 22nd of uh, December, most probably, if I'm not wrong. And after that, they haven't received anything like speech or written assessment results are pending. Few of the candidates got some other mail. OK, so these are the things why it is happening, why it's happening. So there are two main factors. Basically, let me clear you huge shortlisting process for Infosys. I already told you uh, like uh, it checks how many questions you solve, how many test cases you passed, whether you followed test guidelines or not overall performance. OK, so this is the thing you have to be clear on your Infosys thing. OK. Uh, in yesterday's video also, I have clearly explained you these points so you can watch that thing how you have to pass your test cases and all. OK, and other thing again, I will say phase wise exam is happening. So, you know, you can expect one two week delay. Then again, I'm talking about upgrade speech and written assessment. That is very important. Uh, there are some candidates who receive this upgrade speech and written assessment test. OK, uh, they have received the mail. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, elimination round basically. So only those candidates who will clear this round will get shortlisted for uh, technical interviews or the panel interviews. If you don't clear this round, you won't be able to get it. And uh, on upgrade, I will update you soon a specific video I will made on upgrade result. So if you receive this assessment, take it very seriously, to be honest. Now moving further to the Accenture. Uh, what's happening with the Accenture? OK, when the Accenture result will come, what's the next phase when they will hire? So basically, uh, Accenture has extended application deadlines many a times. And what does deadline extension exactly means? It usually means that they have multiple openings with them. There are many open positions. OK. And the hiring will happen in multiple phases. They will hire people in multiple phases and the uh, there are multiple position open. That's why they are hiring again and again. Right. Why they are not closing? Because they have multiple openings. Interview and exams are conducted in different days and that's why results are also getting announced in different days. So don't panic. Why my friend results has came? Why my result is still pending? So you don't have to uh, you know worry on that part because they are conducting everything in phases, in slots, in batches. So you don't have to worry. Even your offer letters will be released in same manner. OK, so if you haven't received a censure exam or interview results yet, waiting is normal. I just said like that you have to wait. You don't have any other option. Just keep patience. OK, let's discuss about the types of mail you receive. Uh, if you have uh, applied for mass hiring role, you may receive a congratulation mail. OK, so uh, the very first mail that you receive is the congratulations mail that yeah, you are shortlisted. OK, this is the first mail. Then uh, they say uh, they send other kind of mail. Thank you for applying mail. This is uh, when your profile is under review. 
then you re uh, re uh, receive directly a rejection mail this means not shortlist is and other mail no mail yet data is still under processing means the hr is still reviewing your resume your resume is still in the their database and if your profile is eligible then the company will contact you yeah now let's discuss about the interview results timeline so guys you have given your interview on 29th of december for essential so generally usually it will take around 7 to 10 working days after giving your uh, interview as well you have received this mail and if you are selected you will receive a congratulations mail okay you will receive a congratulation mail and sometimes company directly ask you for the document verification before the final confirmation so these are the two kind of things two kind of scenarios which can happen with anyone moving further let's see again you have to uh uh just have patience and that's it other than that you can't have anything uh and the final message is the same thing i will summarize it like that itself don't worry don't panic for everything you just have to wait for every interview result it takes time for every written exam it will take time so don't panic on this because you will get your interview mail exam mail or anything at its own time okay don't panic why my friend is getting why many people are getting why i am not getting you don't need to panic on that okay i will say just keep waiting when your turn will come you will shine that's it and again if you find this video helpful if i am able to solve at least some of your doubts do let me know in the comment sections okay and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new because i have seen many people just watch my uh, videos and just go away i would say at least hit a like button subscribe my channel and yeah do share it with your friends who are having their uh, infosys or essential exam or anything else okay other than that uh, a very good update that i was about to say uh like you are having your infosys exam on 4th and your interview will be happening on 5th so guys uh if you want me to prepare a proper interview question with answer video then do uh, write in the comment box that we want the interview question and answer video and if you don't want then don't write i won't make because obviously i am making these videos for you so that it can help you guys obviously i have cracked in forces when i was a fresher i know what they ask and also i am taking interviews so i know what the mindset of a interviewer is there so if you want me to create that video do let me know in the comment box and uh, yeah happy new year once again keep applying keep uh, keep preparing and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and do hit the like button till then bye bye happy learning